The Khoisan Mountains, located approximately 20 miles or 32 kilometers south of Da Nang, had long been a People's Army of Vietnam and Viet Cong base area, and numerous operations had been mounted against the mountains and valley throughout the war. From late June 1970, the 7th Marine Regiment had been rotating reinforced rifle companies on five-day patrols of the area. This would regularly uncover PAVN and VC positions, which would then lead to small arms engagements. On the 13th of August, Companies I and L, 3rd Battalion, 7th Marines, and Company A, 1st Battalion, 5th Marines began Operation Ripley Center in the central Quezon Mountains. On the 15th of August, Company A, 1 5th Marines was withdrawn from the operations. On the 24th of August, 2nd Battalion, 7th Marines was landed in the area and took over the operation. The Marines uncovered numerous PAVN and VC facilities and killed 25 enemy combatants and captured 8 more. The operation concluded on the 31st of August. In August, the 1st Marine Division and the 7th Marine Regiment staffs began planning a large operation to pacify the Khoisan Mountains. The Khoisan Mountains were believed to harbor the PAVN's front four headquarters. The plan called for an intensive air and artillery bombardment intended to drive the enemy into shelters, allowing the two 7th Marines to land at 12 separate landing zones. The 1st Platoon Company D, 1st Reconnaissance Battalion, established three observation posts and the Mortar Battalion of 3rd Battalion, 11th Marines, to establish a fire base on Hill 845. After midnight on the 31st of August, 10 Marine artillery batteries began shelling 53 targets in the Quezon Mountains. When the bombardment ended at 0645, a total of 13,488 shells had already been fired. The artillery barrage was immediately followed by two hours of airstrikes and then at 0900 the first helicopters began landing the Marines. The 2 7th Marines command post was established on Hill 845, which was now renamed Landing Zone Vulture. The Marine landings were unopposed and they made no enemy contact for the next four days. On the 5th of September, Company E pursued a PAVN soldier into a cave in a ravine near LZ Vulture. They were then met by heavy weapons fire when they got there. The other three companies moved to the area and proceeded to engage an estimated 30 to 50 enemy soldiers in the ravine and in close combat for over the next three days. On the 9th of September, after having three Marines killed in action, the Marines were pulled back to allow airstrikes on the area. The Marines had pacified the area with the enemy having been killed, sealed in caves, or withdrawn from the ravine. From the 14th of September to the 30th, the Marines killed 14 enemy soldiers in ambushes throughout the operational area. On the 13th of September, the 3 7th Marines joined the Operation Landing southwest of the 2 7th Marines position. On the 20th of September, the 3 7th Marines launched Operational Imperial Lake South, which continued until the end of September with minimal results. On the 16th of September, a VC detector led Company E 2 7th Marines to two base camps of the 91st Sapper Battalion. On the 20th of September, the Marines found a headquarters and hospital complex in caves and underneath LZ Vulture and captured two VC medical corpsmen who revealed that the complex had been evacuated after the bombardment on the 31st of August. On the 22nd of September, Company F 2 7th Marines left the operation, and on the 23rd, Company G, the Mortar Battalion, and the 2 7th Marines Command Group redeployed to Landing Zone Baldy, leaving only Company E in the area of operations and Company I 3 7th Marines in the Imperial Lake South area of operations. At the end of September, the 5th Marine Regiment took over the operation from the 7th Marine Regiment, which was redeploying to the United States as a part of Operation Keystone Robin Alpha. Company M, 3rd Battalion, 5th Marines, replaced Company E, 2 7th Marines at LZ Vulture. Company L, 3 5th Marines, replaced Company I, 3 7th Marines in the southern area. On the 18th of October, the 1st Marine Division ordered a change to the operation, with six-man patrols being deployed in the Quezon Mountains, which would call on a quick reaction force at LZ Baldy to exploit any contact. The 1st Reconnaissance Battalion then moved to LZ Vulture, which was now renamed LZ Rainbow. This would serve as its patrol base. On the 21st of October, Company F, 2nd Battalion, 5th Marines, replaced Company M, 3 5th Marines at LZ Rainbow, while Company H, 2 5th Marines, formed the QRF, or Quick Reaction Force. The reconnaissance team QRF tactics achieved steady results in locating enemy positions and engaging small units. On the 26th of October, the QRF discovered an abandoned battalion-sized base camp, and on the same day, two reconnaissance teams ambushed about 10 to 15 enemies north of LZ Rainbow. They would kill five in this engagement. 
On the 27th of October, a squad from Company F of the QRF attacked an enemy camp west of LZ Rainbow, killing six before coming under attack themselves. Unfortunately, one Marine would be killed, and air and artillery strikes forced the enemy to withdraw. By the end of October, the Marines had killed 74 enemy and captured 34 weapons in the operational area. On November 1st, the 1-5th Marines established a forward command post in the northern Quezon Mountains. On the 6th of November, two 5th Marines established a forward command post on Hill 381, 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles south of LZ Rainbow. On the 26th of November, the 1st Reconnaissance Battalion moved its patrol base to Hill 510, which was in the western Quezon Mountains. On the 5th of November, Company B-1 5th Marines found an abandoned base camp. Here they found documents including the files for the VC Security Section in the Quangnam Province identifying leaders and agents. On the 18th of November, a HMM-263 CH-460, which was extracting a reconnaissance team by McGuire Rig, crashed into a mountainside in bad weather 3 kilometers or 1.9 miles southeast of LZ Rainbow. Unfortunately, all 15 Marines on board would be killed, including the reconnaissance battalion commander, Lt. Col. William G. Leftwich, Jr. On the 19th of November, a newly formed Republic of Korea Marine Reconnaissance Unit joined the operation, establishing a base in Hill 322 in the northeast Quezon Mountains, and they would later be joined by the 6th and 7th Republic of Korea Marine Companies later that month. On the 2nd of December, the 3 5th Marines Command Group replaced the 2 5th Marines Command Group on Hill 381, and the 2 5th Command Group returned to LZ Baldy before redeploying to Hill 510 on the 20th of December. From the 16th of December to the 23rd, Companies G and H, 2nd Battalion, 1st Marines, operated northwest of Hill 510 with minimal results. On the afternoon of Christmas Eve, Company L, 3 5th Marines, found a group of nine enemy combatants outside a cave 2.5 kilometers or 1.6 miles southwest of Hill 381. The Marines fired on the group, killing four while the remaining fled. Companies K and L searched the caves and discovered a major enemy command post, including three radios, three generators, spares, and other equipment which were believed to be part of the elusive Front 4 headquarters. By the end of December 1970, the operation accounted for 196 enemy killed and 106 captured while 20 Marines and two Navy corpsmen had been killed. On the 8th of January, one 5th Marines withdrew its forward command post and one of its companies from the operation. On the 25th of January, 2nd Platoon Company L, 3 5th Marines engaged 10 enemy 2.48 kilometers or 1.54 miles northeast of Firebase Ross, killing 9 of them for no losses. On the 13th of February, the 2 5th Marines Command Group replaced the 3 5th Marines Command Group on Hill 381 and assumed command of the operation. On the 15th of February, Companies K and L, 3 5th Marines, were withdrawn to Hill 34 near Danang Air Base for redeployment to the United States. 1st Battalion, 11th Marines, took over artillery support, replacing the two 11th Marines who were also being redeployed. With the planned closure of firebases Ross and Ryder, the 111th Marines moved to new firebases in the Quezon Mountains at Hills 218, 381, 425, and 510. In January and February, the Marines killed 85 enemies for the loss of one Marine. The operation continued to uncover large quantities of ammunition and supplies, disrupting their logistics network. These included unarmed women and children killed during the Sontang Massacre. On the 1st of March, the 2 5th Marines moved its command post from Hill 381 to LZ Baldy in preparation for the redeployment. On the 2nd of March, the 1st Marine Regiment took control of the operation and established its command post on Hill 510. On the 3rd of March, Companies F and H, 2 5th Marines were withdrawn from the operation. On the 23rd of March, 1 5th Marines moved its command post and two companies from Hill 510 in preparation for redeployment. 3rd Battalion 1st Marines established their command post on Hill 510 together with Companies K and L. On the 28th of March, the 1st Marine Division expanded the Imperial Lake area of operations to include the mountains west and northwest of Danan, known as Rocket Belt. On the 30th of March, Companies K and L had left Hill 510 and moved back to the Rocket Belt, leaving one platoon up on the hill. On the 6th of April, Company B, 3rd Battalion, 26th Marine Infantry Regiment was landed at Hill 510, beginning the handover of the area of operations to the 23rd Infantry Division. From the 7th to 8th of April, the 3-1 Marines command post and the platoon from Company L, 3-1 Marines, left Hill 510. On the 13th of April, the 25th Infantry Division formally assumed control of southern Quangnam Province. Operation Imperial Lake concluded on the 7th of May, 1971. The Marines had lost 24 killed and claimed 296 enemies killed. Thanks to Rainier Richie Gunan for the suggestion for the video. If there is ever something that you want me to make a video on, just let me know in the comments below.
Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe for more content.